hello today so I'm showing you all of this stuff because Lush sent me all of this stuff and said it was as a token of their appreciation and I'm just my mind is blown <laughs> and so I um, I thought I'd record this and just as a thank you and uh, as a thank you to Lush UK and also to the Lush Kitchen and uh, I, you're amazing and I will do my best to review these as unbiasedly and honestly as I always have <laughs> and all the while uh, knowing and stating how awesome uh, Lush is to do something like this. So uh, most of these are the naked products for 2017. Uh, there are about four that I've already reviewed. I'm gonna turn the camera around and just kind of uh, go through these and explain what they are. That's what I have here. And so I'm gonna start with the shower gels. Now these are the Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics UK uh, naked shower gels that they released temporarily on a limited edition basis for the holiday 2017 um, time frame. And so uh, what Lush has done basically is everything that they have this Christmas available to us, including um, the limited edition products, have been made also in a solid or containerless naked form. For instance, here's a Lush Christmas 2017 shower gel called Snow Fairy, all right? It's in a bottle, it pours, uh, it smells great, it has sparkles, it's pink. Well, this year, Lush has made a naked version of Snow Fairy. And it's a solid format, and it's a little different than shower gel but it's a little different than soap as well. There's no waste. There's nothing to wind up in the landfill. There's nothing to wind up in in the water or the ocean or poisoning animals that live in the ocean or that drink water. There's absolutely no waste. It's all biodegradable. It's all usable. And so the entire product is made, the entire product is basically in the shape of a container. And uh, it totally smells exactly the same as the bottled version, if not stronger, of a scent. And if you can see, it also has sparkle, pink sparkle, just like the bottled version of Snow Fair. And so I did a demo of the, um, of another one of these solid shower gels, the Christmas shower gels this year, called Berry Berry Christmas. I'll put a link down below in the description box to the Berry Berry Christmas shower gel. And I'll put a link at the end of this video to my demo of that. And it works exactly the same way. So if you wanna know how this works, what it does when it's hit with water, etc. cetera, um, does it make lather, etc.? I do a demo at the sink, and I'll put the uh, link below. So that's Snow Fairy, and then, and then the next one is the. This one is the Berry Berry Christmas Shower Gel. So this one also has sparkle, just like the uh, bottled version here, and I did a demo of this already and of this on the same video and then I have an olive branch and then I have a rose jam solid shower gel or naked shower gel I've been using this one this one also has sparkle to it and I've been using this one pretty much non-stop since I got it <laughs> That's rose jam. It smells very, very sweet, uh, floral, almost like a candied rose. It's really kind of yummy, and it's 
more moisturizing than some of the other Lush Shower Gels and some of the other Lush Naked Shower Gels. This is, it smells so good. Um, let's see, oh, and then here is a Twilight, a Naked Twilight Shower Gel. And it has glitter, it looks so very pretty. And it, it smells just like Twilight, just like the Lush Holiday Shower Gel called Twilight. And uh, they smell exactly the same and exactly the same strength. And I have yet to demo this. I'm going to demo this one next. So this smells like lavender and has a caramely, uh, kind of a slightly sweet vanillary herbal note to it. So it's green and sort of with this sort of comforting vanilla note to it. And then we have a It's Raining Men Naked Shower Gel, or Honey I Washed the Kids uh, fragrance. And this one really smells good. I mean, like, it's a giant freaking solid thing of Honey I Washed the Kids scent. And then the next one is the Naked Santa's Christmas Shower Gel. And I already did a demo and review video of this as well here on my YouTube channel. And of this here on the same video. This is the bottled version and the naked version. This is new for Christmas 2017. And it smells like Coca-Cola. Or Pepsi Cola. It smells like cola. It's really nice. But then we have oh I have another um, another Berry Berry Christmas because I love them. Uh, and I have another Twilight. <laughs> um, here is a here is a Plum Rain a naked shower gel, and it smells just like. <laughs> It smells just like the uh, Plum Rain liquid shower gel. So it smells very fruity with oranges and plum. And it's also got sort of a green, slight green note as well. It's not too sweet, only slightly sweet, but it's very, very nice. And then we have a dirty spring wash shower gel in the naked form and it's that great minty fresh sort of green and minty um, fragrance of shower gel I love this oh god I wish I'd gotten two of the I mean this smells really 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 good <laughs> and then uh, we have the Odie Creamy Dreamy slash 101 Salvations shower gel in the naked form in here. And this one was made with the Dream Cream, the Lush Classic Lotion Dream Cream scent. And it's another lavender scent, but it's not sweet and creamy. This is very herbal and bright with chamomile and it's very soothing to the skin. It's for people who have sensitive skin or even people who have sort of red or um, itchy skin. Um, it's very soothing, very moisturizing, very thick. I have not demoed this, but I, I will be demoing this uh, soon, uh, within the next five days, within the next three to five days. So that's Odie Creamy Dreamy Flash 101 Salvations. And then we have the uh, shower gel. It's, it's sweet and fresh and it's delicious. It's like, it s smells like lemonade or like if you made lem lemonade with grapefruits instead. Oh God, it smells so good. And the next one is a bubbly which is an orange and uh, 
grapefruit and grape fragrance. It's very citrusy. It's very much uh, the same as the Bucks Fizz. Um, it's very similar to the Bucks Fizz body conditioner. And we have a couple of hair conditioners. This one is Happy Happy Joy Joy hair conditioner in the naked format. And um, for those of you who don't know, the recently discontinued Frozen bath bomb that Lush makes is made with the Happy Happy Joy Joy hair conditioner fragrance. They both have the uh, rose and the roly. Same exact ingredients and fragrance. I love this scent. Oh my God. And there's one other product that, that they make that is in this scent too, and I can't remember what it is, but if I remember, I will tell you. And it smells absolutely wonderful. And by the way, um, none of these shower gels, literally none of them, will come off or like turn into a greasy oily mess or like you know what i mean like n none of these shower gels like no matter how long you hold them they won't they won't stain your skin and they won't leave any kind of a weird residue or oily mess or zero that's not the case <laughs> with the solid lotions and the body conditioners, okay? And so then, um, then we have American Cream hair conditioner in the naked form. And, uh, oh my God, you don't know. <laughs> it smells so good, so good. Everything you like about American Cream is in the naked format now i have not used a naked lush hair conditioner yet so i don't know if they perform well or not or what it's like uh, or what the experience is like so but i am going to be using it when i wash my hair next so i can um, when i do i'm going to add that clip of it to my demo video of American cream and then I'll make a separate demo video of the happy happy joy joy hair conditioner as well I have a lot of demo videos to do don't I and so those are all of the naked shower gels that Lush has been so kind to gift to me then we have a naked rose argan body conditioner and I didn't, I don't have it with me, but there's a black pot that Lush sells in the store called Rose Argan, and it's a body conditioner. Uh, it's not a soap or a cleanser or a shower gel. You use it after you rinse off your soap and shower gel while you're still wet in the shower. You rub it all over you, do, 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 wherever you wanna be more moisturized. And then, just like a hair conditioner, then you rinse it off of you with warm water, just like you rinse out your hair, a hair conditioner with warm water. And then you're ready to get out of the shower and towel dry. And uh, it just smells wonderful. And there's a rose petal on the top. So I am going to be doing a, uh, uploading a demo video of this here soon. And then <laughs> we have the Bucks Fizz Naked Body Conditioner, which is the naked version of the Bucks Fizz Potted body conditioner for Christmas 2017. And this one is made with tons of lovely orange and uh, grape and grapefruit. And it smells like Bucks Fizz, like a fizzy, grapefruity, champagne-y goodness. <laughs> and it's a lovely orange color, isn't it? And there's like stars and stuff, just like the Christmas party bath bomb that this was descended from. And so that's Bucks Fizz. And this one does leave, uh, you know, an, uh, an oilier residue when you hold it for a long time. Then we have the sparkle jars. I've done a demo video of 
these individually here on my YouTube channel. This is the Twilight Sparkle Jar, and this is the Snow Fairy Sparkle Jar. These are massage bar dusting powder combos. Basically, they're containers um, that are the product. It's a massage bar container for dusting powder. So these are naked products. They don't require a container or any kind of plastic. And then here is, this one is a little, the texture is different notice than the body conditioner's texture. And it's bigger, right? The body conditioners are, are a smoother texture and they're also a, a little smaller. This is Rub 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 new um, naked um, body scrub. It's not a body conditioner, it's a body scrub, but you do use it after you soap up and rinse off. While you're still wet, you rub this around. This one's more of a scrub. So it's got exfoliating stuff in it and cocoa butter in it. And it's that lovely Rub 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 Sakura smell, which is made from mimosa. It's a floral, sort of a spring floral smell. Okay, and there are a few more. So this next one is a soap, a hand soap, and this one is called Oat Soap, hand soap, and this one is called Oregano. And this one was made with the same lovely ingredients and scent as their uh, as the lush Mrs. Whippy bath bomb. So here's the Mrs. Whippy bath bomb from Lush. So, and this this one was made in the same fragrance with the same ingredients as their as the Lush Thirteen Unlucky for Dirt soap. That the Lush Kitchen. Um, we sold in 2016, and uh, this one smells pretty, and it has a lot of moisturizing properties in here, and oats are very soothing for red, itchy, irritated uh, skin, and so this has oat milk in it, which is very soothing and moisturizing for the hands, and this one has, as you would guess, oregano, and... Uh, it just smells, I mean, you would think, ew, oregano, but it smells so natural and green and good. It's, it reminds me of, uh, I don't know, like a, like a garden, like the, the greenery that might be in a flower garden or something. That's what oregano smells like to me. So it smells sort of fresh and green and earthy. I mean, you can smell the oregano, but it's not um, gross, kind of, in any way, you know what I mean? So, and uh, it's a cute shape. It looks like a little hand soap <laughs> that you put at the sink. And then we have the candy cane smoothie roulade this Christmas. This is a minty but woody, sort of a musky minty or woody minty it's not sweet and it's a smoothie that used to be uh, the smoothies used to come in these black pots and now they come in these sort of naked versions where they are their own container and um, this actual stuff is the smoothie part is inside that it's rolled inside and the outer part is also natural but it's more of a casing like it's not like cheese you know what I mean so that is the candy cane roulade I personally like the potted versions of the smoothies much much better and I don't like the solid versions. Mm -hmm. We have the butter ball wash cards Lush, and this is in the shape of the butter bear bath bomb that Lush sells for Christmas. It's in the same shape and this is also called butter bear but it's the butter bear wash card and it has a synthetic musk alang alang but it smells like white chocolate and you can use these to wash your hands with or your body. 
and they're the whole thing is made with apple pulp or melon pulp and it's infused with the same fragrance and butters and oils and flowers and fruits and such that the bath bomb is it's so cute i will do a demo of the butter bear as well and then here is the shades of gold frankincense and shades of gold and frankincense you have kind of a, a white gold on this side and a bronze gold down here and a uh, real pretty yellow gold up here and it's lip color so you put this on with a brush and it's gold lip color kind of fun for the holidays that's solid <coughs> And uh, a lot of people are saying, well, that's so dumb. You have a naked product in a container. But that's just for mail order. Like in the stores, they, would, they sell these with no container. It's just mail order because if they were to throw this whole thing in the box just naked, it would get, it would be... Um, it would probably be pretty messed up, so that's why. So that's that one, and I will definitely do a, a demo of that one individually. Here is the here is the sugar plum um, lip color, solid lip color, and. I'll demo that as well, individually. And here is the Black Rose Naked Lip Color. Again, if you were buying this in the store, they wouldn't put it in the box. And then we've got, we've got, um, we have a black rose scrub and a sugar plum scrub here as well. And then we have the uh, solid deodorants, the Grinch and the Governor. And um, let's see, the Grinch, the Governor, and something called Stoner Rock. And here's Stoner Rock. Here's what they look like. So they're all in this sort of geodesic dome shape. And they're made out of this uh, powdery substance, right? And that is the deodorant. These are made with the same things that other deodorants, uh, commercial deodorants are made with, except for the bad things, you know, like this sodium chloride, et cetera. And these aren't necessarily antiperspirants, but they're deodorants, so. And, but they also have uh, many ingredients, natural ingredients in there that also help with wetness and odor. And so basically, uh, you get, say this is your underarm and you just rub it on your underarm after you get out of the shower. Um, and you don't wet it, you just have it dry. And your skin should be dry too. And then you just rub it on there and that's it really. So I don't, I don't like to use these deodorants because they leave a mess on my fingers and my clothes and my work clothes. So, but um, if you're into natural products and you are looking for a natural deodorant, you should try these. Um, they smell great. This one smells more earthy. This one's kind of nice smelling. It's there's a white, and then there's this cream colored one. I believe this is the Grinch. This is the Governor. And this is Stoner Rock, the gray one. Ooh. This smells like dream cream. This, this one literally smells like dream cream. I really like this one. It smells almost like myrrh or lavender it's kind of earthy and herbal at the same time this one 
This one is nice. It's uh, it smells like it might have neroli in it or something. This one is what I would call the prettiest of the bunch, the uh, white one. So I would give these deodorants probably a two out of five, although this one is interesting to me. So those are the naked products that Lush UK was so kind to send me to review. And like I say, I've done uh, individual video reviews of uh, many of these naked products on my blog. I'll leave a link to that below. But um, I've done demos here on my YouTube channel of many of these as well. But I still do have some that I need to uh, demo. And so I have a list of everything in the description box below. Here, and I also have a Lush Naked page on my blog. I'll leave that down there below. On that page, what I did was I just listed all of the naked products. And then if they're highlighted, that means that I have a page for them with my photos of them and my review and my rating and the ingredients and a demo video and how they work, etc. So I'll be adding uh, a page for all of these products or for the ones that I haven't done yet. So if you have any questions about any of these, go ahead and uh, let me know by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, please help me out by liking this video, by giving me a thumbs up down there below, and subscribe to my channel, and that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new Lush demo video, which I do one to five times every week. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you very soon on the next video. Bye-bye.